Are you suffering death by a million paper cuts? Hopefully not, because that sounds awful. But if that's a metaphor for your small file uploads messing with your performance, then you're in luck. Today on Cloud Storage Bytes, we're diving deep into the world of optimizing your small file uploads. So stick around. Let's say you're a biotech company, and your main product is a software that works with DNA across multiple distributed machines. Everything is great, but whenever you add a data set, your clients are stuck waiting and waiting to begin computation. You've checked your architecture, and it's pretty straightforward. A new data set comes in, gets divided, and uploaded to cloud storage, triggering a pub sub alert for your clients to start computing. So what's the problem here? And this is the tricky bit. The amount of work each client is responsible for changes depending on the number of clients connected to do work. So having more clients leads to smaller work blocks as the clients balance out that workload. This means that your software will take ages to upload all the files to Google Cloud Storage in regions with the highest number of available cores. So let's say you've got a data set with files of various sizes, and you upload each file to a regional bucket over and over and over again. If you were to take a look under the hood while this upload takes place, you'd see that as file size increases, so does the throughput speed, meaning smaller files are going to bog you down, like a death by a million paper cuts, which, once again, sounds rough. The reason for smaller files slowing things down is because of the amount of transactional overhead for uploading those files. The smaller each individual file is, the more times this transactional overhead adds up and gives you issues. There's good news here, and that comes by way of parallel uploads. As we hinted at in an earlier episode, you can use the dash M option in GSUtil to perform a parallel copy and dramatically increase the performance of your uploads. If you were to revisit your example of the data set from earlier and take another peek right under the hood, this time using parallel uploads, you'd see significantly higher throughput, as that pesky transactional overhead is mitigated across the multiple parallel threads. Problem solved and paper cuts avoided. But how does this help with large file uploads? We have answers, but that's a totally different episode. If you want to know more about parallel uploads for small files, check out the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, and tell us what more you want to learn about Google Cloud Storage. Thank you for joining us for this quick bite of Cloud Storage. See you next time.